IPM in rice. So first, we're going to define what is IPM. So what is IPM? IPM is an ecosystem-based strategy that focuses on long-term prevention of best or their damage through a combination of techniques such as biological control, habitat manipulation, modification of cultural practices, and use of resistant varieties. In the Philippines, IPM became the official cost-reducing technology for pest control in rice in May in May 1986. IPM in rice has been mainly applied to irrigated lowland paddy rice ecosystem which generally use more inputs and have higher yields ha, less than one than rain fed ecosystem. There are four techniques in IPM in rice. First is biological control, second is bio habitat manipulation, Third is modification of cultural practices, and fourth is use of resistant varieties. Biological control or biocontrol is a method of controlling pests such as insects, mites, weeds, and plants disease using other organisms. It can be an important component of integrated pest management programs. Habitat manipulation. Habitat manipulation is a sub-discipline within conservation biological control that aims to actively improve habitats for natural enemies in order to establish them in sufficient numbers to suppress crop pests below the economic threshold. Modification of cultural practices. In IPM, cultural and physical practices are those activities involved in caring for plants such as site and cultivar selection, creating habitats for beneficial insects, wedding, watering, nutrient management, and etc. Use of resistant varieties. In IPM, plant resistance to insects refers to the use of resistant crops varieties to so suppress insect pest damage. Antibiosis resistance affects the biology of the insects so pest abundance and subsequent damage is reduced compared to that which would have occurred if the insect was unsusceptible crop variety. The benefits of IPM in rice is that these practices are infrequently being utilized for pest control in rice agro ecosystem. The principal benefits of this technique include improved environmental conditions and higher cropping system. Healthy agroecosystem can provide higher rice yields and than, cur than current management strategies. And also, this is an effective strategy for obtaining high rice yields while protecting the environment and creating a more sustainable agroecosystem.